What's Gucci, everybody? I hope you guys look great today and feel great. Today, we are going to go over how to set up GitHub and how to set up Travis CI. I think it's CI or CL. And that what that does is it maintains your tests and continuously builds your project. And by building, really in Ruby, I mean running all your tests. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a GitHub, we're going to make a GitHub repository for you to push to so then Travis CI can build your repos. And so what Travis CI can do, let me show you guys quickly here, is that this is me on Travis CI and I have a repository or a um, just a folder of code called Ruby, called um, Ruby Query slash Sudoku Solver. So it's a Sudoku Solver I'm, I'm making. And so I have tests along the way. And so each time I push to my repository, it runs the tests that I've done for me, and then it will tell me if I'm failing or passing my tests. So what's really cool about this is, let's say I keep on pushing the repository, but I forget to run my tests, which is a really bad practice in general, but you but you do. And then you keep on doing this, I, you get to build 50, but um, you, you realize you have an error, and that error was actually in you know, build 48. So then I can look, go to build 48 and look at that and look at that commit and look at the code I changed there and see, oh yeah, I did maybe do a wrong test there accordingly. So that's, what's really cool about, um, Travis CI. It's a really easy way to build your project and maintain it with people. And also if you get a build error, if somebody else changes the code and pushes it, um, and you get a build error, it will email everyone in the group. You can have collaborators. So it's really nice. So quickly here, make a GitHub Make a GitHub kind of sign in, you know, make a GitHub repo if you don't have one, sign in. And then you're not gonna have as many repos as me, but just you can go here and create create new repository. And then simply I'm just gonna call it example gem. And boom, example gem, and then we'll call and we'll say we can give a description of what I'm gonna make mine public so you can guys all look at this. I'm not gonna initialize it with a README because a README already got made when that we made our gem. And so now I'm gonna create um, create repo. So now, um, now you get all these basically things you can do initially, and let's go to Z CD Ruby, OAP CD Ruby, and then we'll go into first gem. I called it first gem. So now we've got first gem here, and so when we make our gem, a Git repository is all we need is already initialized. So what we do is we just need to, we already have a git repo, so we just need to add this line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my git status and I'm gonna do um, a git add dot, I'm gonna add everything. So I add my R spec and then we're gonna do a first commit. So we're gonna make our first commit. Um, first I added it to my index to say, okay, this is the staging area where my, where my things are. And then I can check if it's added to the staging area by doing GS and added means added to the staging area, the M means modified, but that means it's put in the staging area. And then GC for me is an alias for commit. So I'm going to commit that to my, um, direct my own repository, which isn't my remote repository, which is what GitHub is. It's your remote repository. And so I'm gonna do first commit. And so I just did that. And so now it created those files for me and I'm going to do, and so now I have to do this line. So this get remote add, it's adding my remote repository, which is where I'm storing it on GitHub. So now I can push it to the internet, AKA github.com with the remote. So now I can do git push um, origin because origin is the name of my remote. I'm calling it origin when I get at, it can be anything. You'll always, almost always see that. And I'm going to push it to the master branch. So um, origin, which I spelled wrong, is the name of is the name of ever is the name of what you do. And then so okay, so now I'm gonna get rid of that. So now if I refresh this page, go on AJ and example gem. Whoa, my all my commits are there and all my files are there, and even the README we made is right there. Boom, and GitHub just recognizes the README and does that automatically. So that's pretty cool. So that's an easy way to set up GitHub. Make uh, make sure you have GitHub installed. If not, I'm not gonna really help you guys install Git which is what you need. You need Git. Um, definitely Google it. It's out there. Um, I enjoy Homebrew. That's the, probably the easiest way to start it. And if you have a Mac, it's automatically installed. It's really easy. Just to make sure you have Git, you can do Git, it. You can do Git hashtag version right there. Um, I guess I should make this a little bit bigger, but Git version. Okay. Guys, that's all for this video. I'll make another one soon. Thank you. Bye.